In this video, we will demonstrate Packet Check, which is our easy-to-use software program for Ethernet and IP testing. We will demonstrate a simple bit error rate test using Packet Check, which is installed on two computers. Both computers are located on a local area network and connected to an Ethernet switch. Let's call these Packet Check A and Packet Check B. Packet Check A will transmit to Packet Check B. Packet Check B, B will then loop back traffic to Packet Check A. All relevant statistics will be computed on Packet Check A, such as the bit error rate, round trip delay, lost frames, and so on. The parameters for this test are as follows. We will send Ethernet frames, which will contain IP and UDP data. We will conduct the test at 1 megabit per second and use a pseudo-random binary sequence as our bit pattern. We will only send one stream of traffic. Please keep in mind that all of these parameters are configurable. Next, we will show the Packet Check software. We're first going to configure Packet Check B. Uh, so for mode selection, simply click loop Loopback, verify the MAC and IP address, and then hit Start Packet Check. In Loopback mode, all you have to do is select Ethernet for Layer 2, IP for Layer 3, and UDP for Layer 4. This will tell Packet Check B to automatically switch the source and destination MAC address, source and destination IP address, and the source and destination UDP port. Click Start to start Packet Check B in loopback mode. Now let's configure Packet Check A. This time, select Normal under Mode Selection, verify the MAC and IP address, and hit Start Packet Check to launch the software. To add a stream, click Add, and give the stream a name. For each stream, the parameters are configurable. Make sure Stream 1 is transmitting and receiving, and that it's sending Ethernet frames, IP packets, and UDP data. Go to the MAC address tab and set the source and destination MAC addresses. Go to the IP address tab and set the source and destination IP addresses. Next, go to the UDP tab to set the source and destination UDP ports. Now go to the Payload tab and set the parameters for the bit error rate test. Next, go to the Transmit Parameters tab. Here we are sending fixed size Ethernet frames of size 1500 bytes. We will send these frames continuously at a rate of 1 megabit per second. Ensure that under Traffic Generation mode, the Burst option is set. Next, go to Delay Measurements and select Round Trip Delay from the drop-down menu. Let's click Start to start the bit error rate test. You will see that Stream 1 is transmitting and receiving frames at approximately 1 megabit per second. Furthermore, the error status is set to synchronization and that there are no bit errors. We are observing a round trip delay of approximately 20 milliseconds. Everything here looks pretty good. Uh, again, we don't have any bit errors and it has not lost synchronization. If at any time you want to reset the statistics, simply cl click Reset, which will drop all the numbers back down to zero and start the collection over again. This video is meant to just show you a simple bit error rate test. This video is a continuation of our Packet Check series. Packet Check is our easy to use software program for Ethernet and IP testing. We will now demonstrate multi-stream traffic generation. We will demonstrate a bit error rate test using Packet Check, which is installed on two computers. Both computers are located on a local area network and connected to an Ethernet switch. Let's call these Packet Check A and Packet Check B. Packet Check A will transmit to Packet Check B. Packet Check B will loop back traffic to Packet Check A. All relevant statistics will be computed on Packet Check A, such as the bit error rate, round trip delay, lost frames, and so on. For this video, we will generate two simultaneous streams of traffic. The two streams are identical, but stream 1 will be transmitted at 1 megabit per second, and stream 2 will be transmitted at 10 megabits per second. The parameters for this test are as follows. Both streams will send Ethernet frames, which contain IP and UDP data. The only significant difference between the streams is that stream 1 will transmit at 1 megabit per second, and stream 2 will transmit at 10 megabits per second. Next, we will show the Packet Check software. Let's first begin by configuring Packet Check B. Click on the desktop icon to initialize the software. Click Loopback for mode selection and verify the MAC and IP address. 
click Start Packet Check to launch the software. We will loop back Ethernet, IP, and UDP source and destination addresses and ports. Click Start to start Packet Check B in loopback mode. We will now configure Packet Check A. Click on the desktop icon to launch the software. Make sure the mode is set to normal. Verify the MAC and IP address and click Start Packet Check to start the software. Here we need to add two different streams. I've already added them here. For each stream we have to configure the parameters. Verify that it is in transmit receive mode, that it will send Ethernet frames, IP packets, and UDP data. Next we will config configure the MAC addresses again for both streams. Also click user defined and select IPv4 to automatically select the length type field value. Next we will configure the IP addresses. Click on the IP tab and set the source and destination IP addresses. Next configure the source and des uh, destination ports under the UDP tab. Here for stream 1 it will be both both the source and destination port is set to 5000 and for stream 2 the source and destination port is set to 6000. Next click on the payload tab to set the bit error rate test pattern. Make sure you do this for each stream. Next go to the transmit tab and make sure that each stream is sending fixed size frames of length 1500 bytes. The difference here though is that stream 1 will send traffic at 1 megabit per second and stream 2 will send it at 10 megabits per second. Go to the delay measurements tab and select round trip delay for each stream. Now we can start the multi-stream bit error rate test. Click start to begin the test and packet check is reporting data for both streams. We see here under the error status both streams are in synchronization and we don't have any bit errors in either stream. If you look at the receive rate and the transmission rate you see that stream 1 is approximately 1 megabit per second and stream 2 is transmitting and receiving at approximately 10 megabits per second. Oh, okay, so now as the test has gone on, we actually see that we do have bit errors. We have some in stream 1 and some in stream 2. So, Packet Check can allow you to do multiple streams, and it'll dis display each stream as a column here. Welcome to another GL Communications product demonstration video. This video is a continuation of our Packet Check series. Packet Check is our easy to use software program for Ethernet and IP testing. We will now demonstrate how to intentionally impair packets prior to transmission. We will demonstrate a bit error rate test using Packet Check, which is installed on two computers. Both computers are located on a local area network and connected to an Ethernet switch. Let's call these Packet Check A and Packet Check B. Packet Check A will transmit to Packet Check B. Packet Check B will loop back traffic to Packet Check A. All relevant statistics will be computed on Packet Check A, such as the bit error rate, round trip delay, lost frames, and so on. We will impair the packets prior to transmission. We expect to see bit errors in the received stream. The parameters for this test are as follows. We will send Ethernet frames, which will contain IP and UDP data. We will conduct the test at 1 megabit per second and use a pseudo-random binary sequence as our bit pattern. We will impair the traffic by deleting, inserting, and modifying bytes. Next, we will show the packet check software. Okay, so we're first going to configure packet check B. Uh, so for mode selection, simply click loop loopback, verify the MAC and IP address, and then hit start packet check to start the packet check software. In loopback mode, all you have to do is select Ethernet for layer 2, IP for layer 3, and UDP for layer 4. This will tell Packet Check B to automatically switch the source and destination MAC address, source and destination IP address, and the source and destination UDP port. Click Start to start Packet Check B in loopback mode. Next, we will configure Packet Check A. Click on the desktop icon to launch the software. Make sure the mode is set to normal, verify the MAC and IP address, and click Start Packet Check to launch the software. Okay, so 
As in the first video in this packet check series, we're going to set up the stream almost identically. We're only, we're only going to have one stream, so if you have multiple streams, you can go ahead and delete it. For this stream, let's go ahead and verify all of the config, uh, all of the parameters. So make sure that it is in transmit receive mode. Uh, it is sending Ethernet frames with IP packets, and layer four is set to UDP. Uh, go to the Mac tab and verify that the source MAC address is the MAC address of the computer hosting packet check A and the destination MAC address is the computer hosting packet check B. Next, go to the IP address tab and verify that the source and destination IP addresses. Next, go to the UDP tab and, and enter the source and destination UDP ports. Next, go to the payload tab and verify the bit error rate pattern. Then go to the transmit tab and let's set this for fixed size Ethernet frames of length 1500 bytes. We will send the packets continuously at a rate of 1 megabit per second. The traffic generation mode is set to burst. Next we'll go to delay measurements and select round trip delay. Before we introduce impairments, we're actually going to start the test by clicking start to ensure that the bit error rate test is running successfully without any bit errors to begin with. And so as usual, feel free to uh, maximize the screen so you can see more comfortably. And we see that, in fact, we are not seeing any bit errors. We have pattern synchronization. So this gives us confidence that to start, the, the test is running successfully. Uh, packet check A is sending packets to packet check B, and packet check B is looping the packets back to packet check A without uh, introducing any error. Now let's begin impairments. The first impairment we'll do is to delete bytes from any packet that is being transmitted uh, from packet check A. So let's say we want to delete four bytes, and we'll start the deletion at the byte offset of 100. In our case, we're going to introduce these impairments continuously. Of course, you can also introduce them a finite number of times. So when ready, click Activate to begin the impairments. And what you notice immediately is that we now start to see bit errors. Uh, we have a bit error rate of about 10 to the minus 5, and the bit error count is steadily increasing. So that's how you uh, very simply introduce impairments into a bit error rate test. Now to stop the impairments, simply click deactivate. There are other type of impairments that you can generate. You can insert bytes, you can and you can also do logical operations on bytes. So for instance, if I hit and, the default value is 0, 0, but you can and with any sort of hexadecimal pattern you want. The reason you would want to and with 0, 0 is because obviously when you and with 0, 0, the result is zero. So this is a way to take a fixed number of bytes and turn them to zero, zero, to, to all zeros. So that's another way to impair packets. And again, we can hit activate to activate the impairments. And again, you see that we have a non-zero bit error rate and the bit error rate count is increasing. So this is how impairments work in packet check. This video is a continuation of our packet check series. Packet Check is our easy-to-use software program for Ethernet and IP testing. We will now demonstrate how to measure one-way delay. Packet Check measures one-way delay by running two instances of Packet Check on the same computer. The computer must contain two separate network interface cards. Both Ethernet, Ethernet ports are connected to the device under test, which in this case is a switch. Let's call these Packet Check A and Packet Check B. Packet Check A will insert a timestamp into the packet payload and then transmit to Packet Check B. Packet Check B will receive the packet and calculate the one-way delay. The parameters for this test are as follows. We will send Ethernet frames. We will con conduct the test at 100 megabits per second and use a pseudo-random binary sequence as our bit pattern for the bit error rate test. Packet Check A will be in transmit mode and Packet Check B will be in receive mode. Next we will show the packet check software. So we're first going to configure packet check A. The mode selection should be normal and verify the MAC and IP address and then click start packet check to start the software. Okay, so for packet check A, we are gonna have one stream and it'll be in transmit mode. Uh, it's gonna send ethernet frames and for simplicity, we're not gonna include any higher level protocols. 
uh, go to the MAC address tab. You can set the source MAC address as the uh, network interface card for which Packet Check A is listening, and the destination MAC address is the MAC address for which Packet Check B will listen. So we can go to the payload tab, uh, verify the bit error rate pattern, then go to the transmit tab, make sure that you have a fixed size Ethernet frame. We're going to run the test continuously at a rate of 100 megabits per second. The traffic generation mode will be set to burst. Next go to delay measurements. Make sure enable transmit is checked and select one way delay for the measure from the drop down menu for the measurement type. Then you can begin. You see that we are transmitting from packet check A at approximately 100 megabits per second. Now we haven't started packet check B yet. This is all the data we have so far. Now let's start packet check B. We need to initialize another version of packet check. So click on the desktop icon again and again we will set it to normal mode. This time we're going to change the interface to the other network interface card. Verify the MAC and IP address and then hit start packet check. Okay, so here we want to make sure this is in receive mode. We don't want any IP or UDP data, so we're just sending, receiving Ethernet frames. Again, we've, we're going to configure the source and destination MAC. This is now the reverse of packet check A. We go to the payload tab to ensure that we have the same bit error rate pattern as was set for packet check A. Next, go to the delay measurements tab. Select one way delay for the measurement type. Check enable receive and then click start to begin the test. So you see on packet check B we have the full statistics such as the received data rate, the bit error count, the error status, and most importantly we now have the one-way delay measurement which is approximately 110 microseconds. So we have microsecond precision on the one-way de delay measurement.